What is up guys? You're probably thinking why the hell is Josh showing me his washing machine and his dryer? Well, I'll show you why. I know this is predominantly a automotive channel, but this kind of falls into the mechanical side of things, if you will. And I know a lot of you are home owners or will be home owners. So the problem I was having with the water feed and the water, or sorry, just the water feed is every time the water would shut off in the washer, the valve would close, it would send all the water pressure back into the pipes. So before, oops, sorry. So before this contraption wasn't there, it was just screwed right into the, into here. So this hose, was just screwed right into here. And we would be pretty much anywhere in the house and you would hear a loud knocking sound, loud bang, bang. Every time the valves in the washer would close because it's done taking water in, it shuts the valves. Well, these are pressurized, so the pressure's gotta go somewhere. So where does the pressure go? It goes back into the pipes and you know makes them make loud noises because they're banging against mounts, walls, other pipes in here. And it's not the greatest for your um, wa pressurized water lines in your house. Which is, you know, I wanted to prevent all of that from happening. And I don't ever want to hear a big bang sound while the washer and dryer are going. So I bought these two things. These are called um, water hammer arresters. So the, the term for what I would just explain to you is water hammer. When the water shuts off, or sorry, when the valve shut, the water pressure has to go back and it basically hammers against the pipes and everything else the pipes are uh, attached to. So it's called water hammer. These two things are called water hammer arresters. And what they are is as the pressure, uh, or as the, as the valve shuts in the washer, the pressure then comes back into these and then there's a little piston in here and the piston shoots up with the pressure and allows the pressure to alleviate in this little cylinder. Like a, there's like a little sealed piston and cylinder. There's air up here and as the piston goes up, you know, it swaps. It's a, it's a pretty cool little intricate system that allows the pressure to escape and not go against your water pipes. So that is what I installed. These are both about $40, I think. It came to about 80 bucks for both of them. And usually, I think, um, I am no professional, uh, hence why I did this, but these are usually built into the wall. Um, and if they didn't, they're probably not, a, they're not probably not specific to code which I would disagree with. But anyway, that's that's just me. So I wanted to find a solution. I didn't know a solution like this existed, but it does, and it's simple to use. It's literally a screw-on uh, fitting onto the male end here, onto your valve, and then you screw your water hose. This is three, three quarters inch, um, you know, normal standard thread. And they also make half inch, so. Those, if you have loud knocking, banging pipes for your washer and dryer for any water appliance, um, it's probably water hammer and they do make a fix for it. And they are called water hammer arresters. So I hope this video uh, helps some of you out because I had no idea. I had to spend some time researching this. So that's what they are. That's how you fix it. And I've heard nothing but success when it comes to loud knocking noises in your wall, when people install these guys, that goes away. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and this helps you out. Um, if it did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, peace everybody.